Today I'm here on the dairy farm in Ballyhays joined by Joe Patton, Head of Dairy Knowledge Transfer with Chagas and today he'll briefly run through the results of the fodder survey which was completed on the 8th of July and also on grassland management, nitrogen management and supplementation going into the next few weeks and into August. Chagas recently completed a national fodder survey for dairy and dry stock farms over the last couple of weeks. We had approximately 530 responses to get a feel for what the picture is on farm um, for, for silage stocks. What that survey showed was basically that nationally we were running a surplus of about 50 to 20 percent, uh, which is actually stronger in the western half of the country and uh, more marginal in the eastern half, particularly the northeast and southeast areas of the country. Within that, approximately one farm in eight is marginally short of silage, well more than 10% short of silage. So our advice would be for, for the next few weeks, for, for, for those farms that might have concerns about um, fodder shortage uh, or have been marginal in the past for silage would be to complete a fodder budget and also to, to secure additional stocks from second and third cuts because the cost of filling gaps later in the year uh, might be very, very expensive. In order to do that and in order to keep grass quality moving on farms, we should be looking to use our nitrogen fertiliser allowance for the year. So on the farm we're standing on at the moment, there's approximately 80 kilos of nitrogen per hectare still remaining in the budget to be used and that will be used over the next few weeks to ensure supply of adequate quality and quantity of grass over the next, next few weeks. Uh, in addition to that then, there's a very healthy position at the moment in terms, of, uh, in terms of milk price, particularly on farms with high solids that are achieving uh, significant levels above base price. Um, and the question will be coming in the next few weeks as to how do we maintain solids, how do we maintain production uh, over the next few weeks. So really, first and foremost, as always, grass quality and grass intake is going to be very important. We'd like at this stage of lactation for cows to be at least eating at least 18 kilos dry matter, maybe offered close to 20. The simple messages really are number one do a feed budget make sure that you're um, make sure that you're, you're happy with amount to feed for the winter uh, if you're going to be short or a bit tight do something about that in the next few weeks in terms of getting second and third cut built up use your cons use your fertilizer allowance to ensure that you get maximized grass production and quality on the farm and have a plan then coming into the into the next few weeks that we can take a sensible approach approach to supplementation to keep cows milking well and also to start building covers into august and september if you want more information on this topic uh, please contact your local gain rep or log on on to glambiaconnect.com